friends, welcome back to Heartland Outdoor School. I'm Kendrick, the Nature Center Manager, and we are back again for another animal encounter. As you can see this time, I'm in a cage. And I am in the cage of our lovely gray squirrel, and his name is Stanley. So the reason I'm in the cage is because uh, Stanley, he's a, he's a little squirrely, uh, and he doesn't like to come out very often, so instead of me bringing him out to you, I'm bringing you in to him. So, uh, gray squirrels, they are native to the eastern United States, Scotland, Ireland, parts of England, and parts of Australia. They'll eat things like any type of tree nut, uh, they'll eat seeds, grasses, berries, and then sometimes they'll even eat insects, eggs, snails, things like that. Uh, their bushy tail, as you can see, hi buddy, as you can see they have this nice, hey there, they have this nice bushy tail, uh, that has a lot of purposes, come back here. Uh, their bushy tail has a lot of purposes, such as keeping them warm, protecting them from the elements and from weather. It helps for balance as they're going up and down trees. Uh, and then it, it even is used in communication between other squirrels. So, let me see if I can get it back in view. He's a little shy right now. So, uh, I'll, I'll let the camera kind of zoom in on him. They're usually gray in appearance, hence why they're called a gray squirrel, but they also come in black and sometimes even albino. Now they are rodents, which means their teeth will never stop growing and they'll actually grow about six inches a year if they're not trimmed down. So that means that they have to constantly be gnawing on wood and rocks and other hard surfaces to trim their teeth up. Now one of the most important things about squirrels uh, is that they're kind of like nature's own seed dispensers because they're constantly burying nuts and seeds, that's known as caching, uh, but they don't always remember where they've buried them at. And that means they're never dug up and that allows the seeds and nuts uh, to start germinating and growing and that helps expand and change the forest composition. So they're very, very important in the ecosystem. So uh, that's Stanley. As you can see, he's really enjoying his banana chip. Uh, so tune in tomorrow. Join us tomorrow as we come back with another reptile. We've showed you uh, the eastern box turtle last week. We have another turtle for you this week, a very, very, very large turtle. So we hope you will come back tomorrow. For today, say bye to Stanley, and I'll see you tomorrow.